All right, so as I remember, the Timberwolves are still at the top of the West. Yep, they are first. Yeah. We can just go, like, yeah, talk cool. about how each one is, each conference is shaping up and how we think people are going to do. Uh, I didn't know the Pelicans was that high. I know they had been winning, yeah. but I didn't know they were. Mm-hmm. We sitting at five in the West. Yeah. Yeah, I got to get the standings pulled up for the East and the West. Minnesota got a got a little over a month left of regular season basketball. Minnesota got twenty games left. Yeah, got some 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 difficult games in there. But they tied. got the, the Lakers two times, the Clippers two times, the Nuggets two times. Um, conference they win in. like they three games up in conference. Well, they three wins up. Yeah, but if they overall record is is but they overall worse, they tied with the Thunder. Yeah. Uh, so um, it's it's gonna be interesting. I think they're gonna drop a a handful of spots. I think they'll probably be around four or five by the time the season's over. Because Cat with their second leading score, they weak side rim protector. He was kind of the 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 cheat code for their offense because you got a you got a consistent high pick and roll with a seven footer who can yeah. shoot the way he can shoot. And you got a big man down low in Rudy that pulls a big out of the paint to allow Ant to get downhill. Yeah. Kind of play how he want, but now you remove Cat. There's 22 points a game, I think you mentioned. Yeah. yeah. Can they pick up? Ant, Ant going to have to take some, uh, you know, a good bit of that load, but I yeah. think he can handle it, but he's going to need help at the same time. Yeah, that's just where the help coming from. Like, yeah, Cat averaging 22. Shooting 50% from the field, 42 from three. In 33 minutes. So you're gonna yeah. have to find somebody to to Yeah. Uh I don't know who though. I I don't know. I don't know what their bench look like. I ain't really watched them that much this year. Mm-hmm. So they 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 bench is decent, but it's because you can play and and cat with the bench team. You can play Rudy with a point guard that knows how to, you know, run a pick and roll. So it's yeah, it's beneficial. But then Cat is for sure the second leading scorer on that team, averaging twenty two. Uh, I'm finna see what Rudy Gobert is averaging right now. It can't be nothing too too crazy. I'm pretty sure it's around fourteen points a game, some of like that. He's he's averaging thirteen point eight. So 14 yeah. and 12 a game is what he's averaging, 33 minutes. But a lot of that is because of. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. He had 25 or 16 against the Blazers on the fourth, but it was the Blazers. The Blazers don't have any interior presence outside of Aiton, but Aiton and all that. Yeah. So Rudy going to have to step up. Uh, I don't know what you expect to get out of Mike Conley at 37 years old. Aiton. <laughs> Aiden, uh, the Blazers done lost more games than the Timberwolves done more. Yeah. Uh, Mike Conley averaging 10 on the season. Yeah, I mean, his numbers will go up a little bit. He can't, I mean, um, without Cat, they might start doubling and, and Conley to get some open shots. Um, yeah. And he, we know he can, you know, he if you give him the ball, you know, he get open shots, he can hit. He is, you know, older, but he's still, he's still an outside threat. He's always been 
uh, outside threat, you know, uh, or or just the low mid range. He's been good at that his whole career. So yeah, but just making up that twenty two, that twenty two and nine that they that they gonna miss for the remainder of the season. You yeah. know how to figure that out. That's gonna be the hard part. It's like who, uh, who you look at to pick up the slack? Uh, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Cause I don't know if anybody else on their team, outside of Ant and Mike Conley, in certain situations, can go get their own shot. Or if anybody else on that team is a. Well, I mean, Nikhil Alexander Walker been playing well as of late, but is that? He is, he inconsistent though. But the question is, like, is is he playing good because of the other two, or is he just playing good? And we're about uh, to find out. Yeah, you you are. I mean, averaging seven off the bench in twenty three minutes a game. 37% uh, from three. I mean, it ain't great numbers. It ain't the worst numbers either, but somebody going to have to step up and you're going to have to look at the bench players, the role players, because somebody about to get a new role. Uh, it could be Nas Reed, but he's like they backup five man. Yeah. So I don't know if you would lean on him to be the the one to, 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 to pick up the slack. I mean, he's averaging 12. Shooting forty one percent from three, and they got uh, uh Kyle Anderson on that team as well. Yeah, Kyle Anderson, he you know he has been put in that position where he had to score more. He did all right. Um, he shot twenty one percent from three, and Jaden McDaniels, he can fill that role. Yeah, that's a big jump for him, though. Yeah. He's more so like the lockdown for that team, but yeah. I mean, he got he got a twenty six point game and a seventeen point game, but he ain't really getting a, a, mean, a lot of shots. But his shots gonna have to go up. I mean, TJ Warren's. A, I mean, I don't know if he's still a good defender. He was. Uh, I, yeah, he was once upon a time. I don't even know if he's on that team or not. Yeah, he on the team. Uh, what the last time he played? <laughs> That's a good question. So, oh, they just uh, signed him to attend there. Yes, probably why they signed him. Yeah, they signed him to attend there yesterday. What's it called? It got hurt. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah. I mean, it'll take him a couple of days to get a couple of games to even get within rhythm. Yeah, they got 10 days. Well, not then they play tonight, they got Indiana tonight. I think that's a, that's a pretty tough matchup for them. Yeah. Now with Cat being out, they match up a, a, a lot better with each other. Got Rudy Two. Gobert, Miles Turner matching up. You got the guard play from Halliburton and uh, Benedict Mathern. Mike Conley and Anthony Edwards, two all-stars, on each, uh, all-star on each side. Man, this Lakers are in 10 spot. The yeah. Warriors and the nine spot. The Mavericks play in the eight spot. That the playing games gonna be kind of impressive if if the standings remain the way this. I think. You seen the map? You saw what they said about the Mavericks. The Mavericks mm-hmm. statistically have the worst defense to ever exist. <laughs> <laughs> they defense is so bad. They just they. They hold uh objective is to we're not gonna guard nobody. We just gotta score more than I don't know how I don't know that can't win you no know, no type of games mm-hmm. in the playoffs. No, because if you have a bad shooting night, it's a wrap. And if it's one game, well they they're in the eight spot, so it is two games to determine their fate. If they lose their first game against the Warriors, the Warriors get the eight seed, then they play the winner out of the 10 11. They don't they don't match up well with the Lakers. They'll beat the Jazz, I feel like. Well, the Lakers, are, the Lakers are the Lakers are twelve and nineteen on the road. The Lakers aren't good on the road. But at all. Dallas this is only what eighteen and fifteen at home? Like they ain't that impressive at home. They ain't that impressive overall. No, they ain't. The Warriors ain't. I mean, we know the Warriors I had trouble. The Warriors have been up and down. The Warriors better on the road than they are at home, like statistically, from percentages. 
The Grizzlies are worse at home than they are on the road. What in the world? The Grizzlies ain't got none. Desmond Bain been her jaw out. Steven Adams got hurt. Then they traded him for Victor Oladipo. Got Marcus Smart this summer. He ain't done a whole lot of the he brought Derrick Rose in. He was there to mentor John Morant and John Morant ain't played. The fact that they got 22 wins is is surprising. Yeah. But normally you play better at home, though. You supposed to. They seven and twenty-four at home. Yep. They they worse than the than the than the Spurs. Yeah. 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 They almost as bad as the Pistons and the the Wizards. The Wizards out. Well, the Wizards is on the 16 game losing streak. <laughs> John Poole. He he cut up their last game with some of they like 30. But they yeah, lost, I know. Obviously. Off the bench. Like moving he, the, a person that you paying $120 million to to the bench is ridiculous. <laughs> you might need to fire your whole front office if that's the case. Make it a hundred and twenty million dollars. Get like twenty six million a year, or something like that. Right. I didn't realize the Hawks was at ten. The Hawks ain't been that good. The Hawks have been pretty bad. <laughs> I see that. Like the Hawks are behind the Bulls, who don't have Zach Levine or Lonzo. It's pretty bad. The Hawks don't look good. I mean, Trey is out, but he just went out. He ain't it don't like he been out. The Magic on a five-game winning streak. What, the Magic are fourth in the West. Yeah. I don't really see. I think the, the Magic Knicks first-round matchup, I, I would actually watch that to see how bad both of them play. I, I'm – The way the I'm, Knicks – Playing last year, I, if I'm Cleveland, I might I might allow uh, Orlando to jump me. Right, if <laughs> I'm Cleveland, I do not want to play Miami in the first round. You don't. You don't. Either that, or you you try your best to get to that number two seed and you play Philly without Joel and B. Yeah, but best, we best don't know. Cleveland. We don't know how Philly going. End up, Philly might drop even further. I think they'll be seven or eight at worst. I don't. I just. Think, I still think they better than. I think they're better than Atlanta. Uh, but they all, they better like, than the Bulls. They offense run through Joel. So what they gonna do? Like who gonna carry the offense now? I mean, Maxie? they got they got a lot of faith in Maxi. Um, they just lost to the Grizzlies. Uh, you know, they they love Tobias Harris. They keep paying him the way they keep paying him. I don't, I mean, they got Buddy Hield over there, but none of them played. Uh, they like yesterday Philly played Tyrese Maxey and played only Tobias Harris played and he had eight points in thirty five minutes. Tobias Harris had eight mm-hmm. points in thirty five minutes. Cameron Payne was their starting guard. I mean, Cameron Payne he can put up buckets. Yeah, I mean. Kelly Oubre with their leading scorer off the bench for 25. See, they got some pieces. They just don't have the star. If you get Maxi back, I think Maxi helps him a little bit. Take some pressure off of uh, Tobias Harris. They got Nicholas Batum as their starting small forward. Nicholas Batum starting for your team in 2024 is outrageous. <laughs> How old is Nicholas Batum? I'm about to find out. Nicholas Batum said that he's been in the league since 2000. He's he 35? That's it? Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way. Been in, it feels like he's been in the league forever. It feels like he's been in the league along with LeBron. I mean, I don't see... I don't see the Bucks or the Celtics dropping. Oh, no, if they, they do drop, the Celtics are going to be too the best team in the NBA this year. Yeah, they already. Are. I, I, yeah, I, I think they're gonna stay that way, especially with the Timberwolves getting worse. 
Okay, see, they still young, so they look good on paper. Their pieces look good on paper with Shea cutting up the way he is. You got but Chet over there. The question is, can they do it in the playoffs? And that's the thing. I don't think so because they have they don't have anybody on that team with playoff experience. And can they beat the Kings in a seven game series? I, I I'm I really want to watch that. I want to watch De'Aaron Fox <laughs> and Shea. Go at it. So hey, bonus is gonna kill Holmgren. He gonna kill Chet. Yes, Chet he can't gonna work him. They don't have to figure out some kind of scheme for Chet because then they. Yeah, I don't see. He ain't got to make deal with Sabonis. Yeah, he don't. Sabonis seven one in he two hundred and fifty something pounds and he moved like that. You got to deal with that. Oh yeah, Sabonis be cooking Jokic like so, and he been like on a triple double streak as of late. He been snapping ever since they didn't pick him for the All Star game. I'm pretty sure Sabonis just going downhill every time he get the ball. Chet on him. Oh yeah, he gonna he probably gonna get Chet in foul trouble early. That's what I'm doing. I ain't, I ain't wasting no time with him. Get you out of this game right quick. Do the Mavericks yeah. have a, a decent big? Like they just traded big? for Daniel Gafford from Washington. Okay, uh, he's pretty decent. He's six ten. Well, I'm just saying that because they decent. look like they playing is probably going to be either. The Timber, the Thunder, or the Nuggets, the way things are. Yeah, they play out. the Nuggets. It don't matter who they be against. It, it don't matter. <laughs> you really don't. So, bonus is on the year. It's averaging 20, 13, and 8. Shooting 61% from the field and 41% from three. That's and ridiculous. 36 minutes again. This is some Jokic numbers. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it really is. I mean, the Clippers healthy. Clippers healthy, they're probably the scariest team in the West. They are. They're not going to be the favorite, but nobody not having Russ, though. Them not having Russ is a big hit for them. Is he out for the rest of the season? He's not out for the rest of the season, but uh, he's going to miss a good amount of time with their broken wrist. Broken left wrist. He broke that, what, January? No, he broke that like last week. I thought it was longer than that. Mm -mm, He just broke his wrist. But the Pelicans don't want to see them. Nah, not if they fully healthy, we we don't match up with them. Well, well, the Pelicans have been playing consistent, like lately. Like, yeah. if if Bi was on his, you know, like when that year Zion just didn't play all year, and Bi said, "I right, get on my back." If we had that Bi for the Pelicans and Zion playing like he is. Yeah, I mean, it, I feel like it's, it just come down to health. Different. Just come down to health. If he healthy, he healthy. He he scored thirty against the he scored thirty against the Pacers in back to back games. Thirty one night, thirty four the following night. Uh, yeah. He only had twelve against the Raptors, but they beat the Raptors by one hundred and sixteen points. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, in the playoffs, I feel like if the if they run into the Clippers. The Clippers don't have Russell Westbrook. That means they bench is a little thin because mm-hmm. the Clippers don't have depth. That's their issue. And Russ being the type of player he is, he play, he'll play play both sides of the ball. You got Kawhi, you got PG. Neither one of them really match up with Zion all that great. Yeah. Paul George and Brandon Ingram, that's like a matchup I would want to see because their play styles are similar. But, yeah, I mean, Clippers got a lot of firepower. They do. So it'll just come down. To, it'll come down to momentum. And, well, and, I mean, but who gonna be on? Like, is Bi gonna hold Kawhi or is he gonna hold? Paul uh, he's probably gonna put Herb Jones on Paul George. He Herb Jones will probably go whoever is cooking that night. Honestly, and they'll put yes. Bi on whoever the other one is, the number two, and then. You're gonna, have, you're gonna have to throw CJ on James Harden and, and just hope James Harden be James Harden of the playoffs. <laughs> if James Harden turn James Harden in the playoffs, then you should be good. If James Harden, if he looked like 2018 James Harden, then you're in trouble. It's, a wrap. it's, it's not even if he played, if he played like 
a fraction of the way he played 2018, yep. Clippers is going to be a, more than a problem because mm-hmm. Pete. I Pete, feel like that was the whole key. Paul George is going to show up because he's hungry. He, like him and Kawhi, like they don't oh, yeah. like losing. And they, you know, that this they last, they last stint for real. Like after this year, it might be over for that team. Paying you ain't gonna be able to pay everybody. Nope. Unless they yeah. take pay cuts, which you know some people do. Happening. Harden looking for a hundred million. Kawhi still hard. straight, but PG gonna be looking for. He gonna this probably gonna be PG last big contract, so he probably yeah. gonna be looking for. A, Quite a bit, but they didn't. They didn't already say rumors of him going back to Indiana. Um, him and Halliburton, that'd be yeah. Then they, <laughs> they've been they've been putting him and LeBron together since LeBron went to Cleveland, or back to Cleveland. Yeah. Oh, and that's I, I don't like some people. I just don't know if they'll work with LeBron. I don't think Paul George would either. I, I don't I don't I don't see it. Like LeBron, you have to have certain types of players around LeBron for him for the team to succeed. Cause when when he on the court, yes, he is a threat, but the way he plays, he is a facilitator. Mm-hmm. And so he has to have the ball in his hand. And you gotta play through him. If he off ball it makes it easier for people to defend him. Like, when he, you know, he, he don't slash as much as he used to. You know, he don't get to the rim as frequently. He, I mean, he's still a, he comes to the lane, he's still a threat because you, not many people can still body up with him and not many people can jump with him still. And yeah. he's, a, you know, but at the same time, that ain't his game anymore. Like, he don't, he, they, they kind of, play through Anthony Davis. So and he just kind of facilitate the offense. So it's I don't, I don't know. Everybody can't everybody can't play. But Kawhi and PG does work. When they both healthy and on the court, they are a big problem. Mm-hmm. You got two lockdown defenders at the two and the three or the three and the four. <laughs> Yeah, the Clippers is it's interesting for them. And but they they like you said, they run out of time. They've been that, that duo yeah. been together for a long time and they ain't yep. since they ain't, since the bubble. Yeah. And they didn't plug and play with people. They didn't put John Wall in there, they didn't took him out, then put Russ in, then then added uh Bones Highland, then added PJ Tucker, and now they added James Harden. You yeah. ain't got that much time to get it done. No, they don't. I I don't know. I don't know what the Warriors gonna do. Uh, I don't know. It seemed like them putting Clay on the bench kind of worked out for them. I don't think that's took, the move in the playoffs, but well, it took a lot of stress off of Clay. Yeah, the pressure of him trying to be who he used to be. Yeah, but at the same time, they just lost Wiggins for the season. So I thought he was supposed to be playing tonight. Uh, the other day they said he was out indefinitely for whatever. Yeah, I know he missed the last four games, but he played last night. He did. Mm-hmm. Uh, I look, I seen a game. It was like two days. They said he was out. Um, yeah, he said. Yeah, he back. He playing. Okay. Well, he played fourteen actually, minutes last night. He didn't do a whole lot, but yeah, he playing. He will be playing tonight. He playing tonight. Okay. Uh, that's good. That changes it. He that he good. he's the key for them. If he plays and he look like himself, yeah, yeah, they're gonna yeah, you gonna he, be in trouble. He a two. He a two way now. He took he took mm-hmm. Clay's spot. Yep. He don't shoot it as well as Clay, but he play defense. He a lot more athletic. He longer. Yeah, he, he getting down. He getting to the rim. You're not stopping mm-hmm. him. Getting to the rim. Yep. So it. I, I want to see how, because they I might. The Warriors they, actually is kind of scary. I just realized you got Clay playing on the bench with Chris Paul. Yes. 
Yeah, that's yeah. You, yeah, that's yeah. that's probably why Clay's doing better off the bench. Yeah, you know how Chris Paul is. He wants to get the ball to his shooters. He ain't trying to score. Nope. And then if you got them, you got Clay, Chris, and Steph on the court at the same time. Good luck. If Steph, if Steph at the two and Chris Paul running the offense, it's a wrap. He like. I think that's you gonna see a lot of that in the playoffs. You'll see spurts, or stretches of the, a game being played. Where is that? Now you got a two that's got to hold one of the one of the most in shape people in the NBA. He might be the most in shape the way he be running <laughs> around. He he don't he has a motor like no other, and he can shoot. He all he needs is a all he needs is a sliver of, of space. Mm-hmm. We know Chris Paul put the ball in the pocket, so it's. A, <laughs> yeah, I think they're, they're gonna be. I think they'll beat Dallas if they stay in a seven-eight matchup in the play. I don't. I don't they beat well, depending on the next few games, it'll. The Warriors might not be in the play. In, in the play, they gotta get the six. I don't see them getting the six though. They only a couple games. They only two and a half games behind the Suns. Yeah, I know that, but I'm saying I think this you know the, you know how the Suns are. The Suns got a lot of firepower. They do but I don't but this is the thing. I see the wolves dropping. Well, no, I, I, I say they gotta get the well, do they have, they gotta get to how many games the question is how many game how many spots are the wolves gonna drop without cat? That is the question. Twenty games left. Uh, I looked at the schedule. I had them splitting uh ten and ten down the stretch. Like they got, they got the Pacers today, Cleveland tomorrow. Then they got the Lakers, then the Clippers, both road games. Then they play the Jazz in Utah twice. Then the Nuggets. Then they play Cleveland again. Then they play the Warriors. Then the Pistons. Then the Nuggets. Then the Bulls. Then the Rockets. Then the Raptors. Suns, Lakers, Wizards, Nuggets, Hawks, and they finish the season. At home against Phoenix, I had them going ten and ten, potentially. So that's fifty three games. Fifty three, I have them top four. They could lose more than ten, but I had them, you know, at ten, ten and ten. It just depending on who they get, what teams do what. But they win ten, they should be. They should be. They're good at this part. Uh, the, uh, the the Nuggets. So to play the Celtics tonight, the Jazz, Raptors, Heat, Spurs, Mavericks. I don't the see the Wolves. Nuggets dropping out of the top four. I think the Nuggets might end up as the one seed. And the, because they it. only a game behind both teams. Yeah. The, the, Nuggets, the Clippers, the Clippers are two games behind, two and a half games behind. The so Clippers the might Nug- stay four. The- I can see them staying four. They might go go to three if Minnesota loses enough games. If Minnesota loses enough, or the Thunder loses enough, but the Thunder, they that won eight straight. out of the last ten games. The Thunder be straight. Uh, they got the Heat. Then they got the Grizzlies. Then the Pacers. The Mavericks. The Grizzlies again. The Jazz. The Raptors. The Bucks. The Pels. The Rockets. The Suns. The Knicks. Sixers. Celtics. Pacers. Hornets. Kings. Spurs. Bucks. Mavericks. It ain't as close as the West is. Nah, the oh, east the east is the east is the easy the east top four through four through eight is competitive. Yeah, two games can make a difference. Four through eight. Yeah, that's it though. I mean, I don't see Cleveland dropping out of the top four. Um, but. The top three just lost their last game. Also, so the Celtics probably ain't gonna lose two games in a row. The Bucks probably ain't gonna lose two games in a row. 
Cleveland is in. The Magic on a five game winning streak. And we know how the Heat are. If they catch fire, it's a wrap. Like, they could easily win, you know, the next 50. They could easily win 15 out of their last games, easily. I don't see the Heat. The Heat might overcome the Knicks. And possibly the magic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if the Knicks, the Knicks should be getting healthy soon. Should be getting Mitchell Robinson back and Julius Randle back soon. Yeah. When they come back, it might it might uh boost them up. Or I don't think the magic will stay at four. I think the magic drop to six, the heat go up to five. Uh depending on how many let me see how many games Cleveland got before the end of the month. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, Donovan Mitchell's will be coming back the end of the month. So their last three games in the end of the month is Charlotte, Philly, and Denver. He should be back for sure in April. So they might go on a little losing streak here soon. Yeah. Um. Like they got, <laughs> they got the Timberwolves tomorrow. I think they might win. They might lose that game. They should beat the Nets. They'll lose to Phoenix. They probably lose to the Pels. They should beat Houston. Lose to Indiana. Lose to Miami. Might lose to Minnesota. They play Miami again. They should Clippers beat Charlotte. Might, Clippers might drop us like a couple of spots. Yeah, it depends. Without Russ, it's gonna be interesting for them. Russ was like they was they they savior on the bench for them. Even though they just won their last game, they beat Houston by six. Yeah, and then the Bulls Saturday. I see them losing to the Bucks though. What's the they got a lot of winnable the, games? What's the odds of the Pistons going on a ten game win streak? Nah. <laughs> Ten game winning streak. Nah, I don't think. I don't think so. They make too many like simple mistakes when they play that. You know, that they should make. Like they just no, beat they go back. the Mavericks by seventeen, and they lost to the Spurs right before that. Yeah, but that I mean that goes back to what we were talking about before with the uh, fundamentals. Like they're a young team and. You know, we, we had the conversation about the lack of fundamentals with the younger players. And that, I mean, that leads into it because they all, I mean, it's, it's not an athleticism problem. Like, it's not, you know what I'm saying? And... I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm ready for the playoffs, but March Madness coming up, so I'm. Um, yep, I gotta build my bracket. Yeah, I still, uh, uh, that'll probably be our next episode. Yeah, I'm, yeah, that could be the next episode. We'll probably do that episode. Next probably do that time. after they they announce the. Uh, yep, I'm gonna watch a lot of college day. basketball too. I think that what the the conference finals next week. Mhm. Yeah, I wanna. I'm ready for. I'm ready for Arkansas playing like crap. So, um, and, and yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah unless you ain't been looking that good, either. I mean, they they be up and down. Maybe it be rough. 
It'd be real rough looking at them. But I don't think it's yeah. gonna be your usual suspects uh that's gonna be running up. Arkansas put up a hundred points on Kentucky and then turn around and got smacked by thirty by Ole Miss. You yep. like what what are you I, I... Unless you <laughs> lost Arkansas yesterday. And unless you beat Kentucky by one, <laughs> then got blown out by Mississippi State right after. Yeah, that's you beat that's Georgia weird. by one, then beat Vanderbilt, then get smoked by Arkansas. Arkansas, I guess Arkansas was like, uh, somebody finna catch it because they lost by, I think, five to Kentucky. It was like 105 to one something. Kentucky, like Kentucky's still top heavy at the old town. Everybody still want to go to, top, to Kentucky. Yep, they and Duke. Duke and them still be getting like the high uh, draft classes, like the the, recruit, the recruitment classes still be high. Yeah, both of them. Kentucky, Kentucky don't have the educational requirements that Duke does, so they get more. Nope. They get more players that know they're going to want it to. Yeah, I don't think uh, Duke gonna be getting that much. Oh yeah, yeah. Coach, yeah. Coach K gonna go. be, gonna be kind of like Alabama in football. They're not finna. Mm -hmm. Their recruiting gonna be a little, little iffy after this year. I mean, yep. the portal went crazy after Saban retired. Mm -hmm. I expected it to happen. Yeah. yeah everybody's mm -hmm. trying to pull up the LSU now. Alabama will have a decent team, but yeah, this they, ain't, straight. they ain't gonna be no, nah, they ain't running no table no more. That they, dynasty is over with. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'll see how he uh the new coach adjusts to the SEC. Yeah, that first year gonna be a rude awakening for him. It just always is. I mean it, it everybody everybody out oh, there, great coach, they're great okay, I get it. I get that great coaches. Like I'm not. I don't disrespect anybody coaching ability, but the grind of the SEC is like you have to be able to manage your talent and your players because you they might miss a game because they just got beat up the last game. Mm -hmm. Like that's every team. Like like every team in the SEC is gonna come out and hit you hard. It ain't ain't no even the game you ain't you supposed to win by thirty. You might not. It might be a field goal to win that game. <laughs> yep. And that's just how the SEC is. Like it, like, oh, it's a cupcake game? All right, cool, bet. <laughs> Watch this. Hold my beer. Like, you know, that's uh, that's, that's SEC. And the games that teams supposed to win, they'd be like, nah, we'll let y'all have this one. What? All right. So I'm I'm interested to see how it's gonna be, uh, and then Texas and Oklahoma yep. coming. So we'll yep. see how that. I don't see how well Arch do. Yeah, over there he coming from where he coming from. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be an interesting year. Yep. Yeah. We're interested. I'm excited. I'm excited yeah. for it. Excited to see it. It's gonna be a good year yeah. for college football. I want to see. I'm really waiting to see how Texas and Oklahoma adjust. They might do well. They might. I think it's Texas, possible. Because Texas A&M came in doing good, and then they had a dip, and then they came back. Uh, Missouri did all right. They first. They did all right. Then they had a good run, and then they dropped off, and then they coming back. This, I mean, they had a better season this year than they had in the last few years. So, and but Texas and Oklahoma got they got they talent pool that they touch. That's a that's a different talent pool right there than than what the SEC is because. Like the top SEC teams were touching that talent pool already, but now you got instead of one SEC team in Texas, you have two, and then Oklahoma was already a big program also. So now, because a lot of Oklahoma 
players come from Texas too. Yep. So now you got three teams that's getting the better players out of Texas. They getting a lot of the four and five star recruits out of Texas. They ain't gonna have to fight Alabama and LSU and all the other teams as hard as they have. Cause now you in the SEC, you playing the SEC. You playing in the SEC. So that's gonna be they now Texas and Oklahoma are more attractive to even more players. Yep. Uh, they, they getting more coverage. They getting more, you know, they uh, they went from a pretty much the one of the top power five conferences. Like it's gonna be interesting, especially all of this 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 new playoff talk shit that they got going on. Yep. It's, I mean, they go into a conference where you don't have to play good every game. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like you can you can show out three games out the year and still your draft stock will go up. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, the amount of exposure and coverage you get, yeah, you, yeah. you play well against them, them important schools. You could kind of be trash against the whack schools. Yeah, you go in there, you show out against LSU, radar. Show mm-hmm. out against Georgia, Florida. I mean, I mean, pretty much any team. Yeah. We all know SEC. SEC or Big Ten, you shot against any of them, you good. SEC, even Vanderbilt has a chance of winning. Yep. Might be slim, but you sleep and on them too long, they Texas will. Texas them another one. Yep. Kentucky, you know, they one year they'll be, like, pushing the – Win the East, the next year they win three games. It was like, what? Are, what are y'all doing? Like, how? How do y'all have such a, you know, what I'm saying, a turnaround like that? But they'll be like, what a two win team in week ten and beat somebody they ain't supposed to beat. Arkansas do it too. It's like, why? Why? You just want to ruin somebody's season? All right, cool. <laughs> Missouri do it. Like, mm-hmm. Missouri do it all the time. Yeah, they, they kind of known for it. <laughs> yeah, Texas A and M. They kind of get up for certain games, not yeah. all games though. Oh, I'm just I'm looking forward to it, and we get to play Texas again. Mm-hmm. I've, been, I've been waiting on Arkansas and Texas for a long time. I bet you have. I know that's the one of the ones you miss. <laughs> Who you telling? Inside the Arkansas-LSU game, it was the Arkansas-Texas game. I like I like the Arkansas-LSU matchup, and I oh, was yeah. really, really Ed, mad. Ed, Ed, right there. I was really, really mad when they took that, put replaced it with Texas A&M. No disrespect to Texas A&M. It's just, nah, just that time of year was always Arkansas-LSU. The Thanksgiving week. Always. You know, that was, yeah. If I ain't watched no other game that year, I was watching that game. Mm-hmm. And then they took that. I'm like, man, y'all go somewhere with that. But we might have to go pull up to the LSU game. Is that cool with me? 